seemed so frightening. Were those scary things that attacked me just figments of my imagination? 24th August 1930. This is, this is simply inexcusable. My precious Koi is gone. Koi is a fish, by the way. The children must be responsible. I won't stand for this. Where is Diana? What she been up to? My opinion of her will suffer because of this. The diary con continues, but the last page is particularly interesting. It's Mr. Ha Hoffman's last entry before he disappeared. 11 November 1930. I'm leaving the orphanage. Claire is here to look after things, and the children are quickly growing up. I've fulfilled my right. I've done right and fulfilled my duty. Bloody hell. All the trouble started when that wretched child arrived. I've done nothing to deserve this. And that's the end of the diary. We never saw Mr. Hoffman again. Huh. Why did he hate Jennifer so much, though? Maybe there's something in his closet we can... That's like a clue. Because they did make a big deal out of it and made the closet an entire room. Dot, dot, dot. That day, Mr. Hoffman disappeared, like he was running away from something. He had tried too hard to be someone he wasn't, and the expectations were too much for him. He wanted to escape those restrictions. However, children and adults live in the same world. We must both play by society's rules. Hmm. I'm wondering what happened to Mr. Hoffman. Did he die? We can move the shirts. Come on, move. Shirts. Shirts. Fine. Be that way. We can open the drawers, too. Hmm. So the headmaster just up and left. That must be sad. Why did nobody like Jennifer? I see nothing wrong with her. She's just a little girl. The record player is brand new. Playing a record would fill the room with sweet music. We don't have any records. But if I did end up picking up a record in the main game, we'd have it now and we could play it. Thought the thought. All of us love red roses. Even the name of the orphanage was befitting of aristocrat. It wasn't until I swore the oath of the rose that I learned roses had thorns. This is Mr. Hoffman's prized collection of fine dishes. We would sometimes sneak them out and play house with them up in the attic. But that's our little secret. I think we were done in there. Let's see. Because I don't want to miss anything. Because this chapter does get. It is giving me a lot of closure as to what really happened and caused some of this. Okay, let's see. That's the headmaster's room where we just were. Yeah, there's more course. This is. I don't remember. Closet room. But it's not the closet, it's a different closet that is a room. Um, any memories here, Jennifer? Dot, dot, dot. Amanda was always more sensitive about her looks than anyone else. One day, she was given a severe scolding by Miss Martha. That's because Miss Martha's lipstick had gone missing. The lipstick was never found, but I know Amanda took it. I've seen her applying it late at night. Oh, like in the intro. Okay. Um, dot, dot, dot. On Halloween, we all dressed up in costumes. Everyone else wore bags over their heads and stared at me through tiny holes. Their blank faces and muffled voices. It scared me like you wouldn't believe. Is that really you under there, I asked, fearing it was someone else, something else. But no one would ever answer me. Oh, So I guess that's where the bags came from. I must say, the children were a little bit creepier when they had bags over the head. Um, 
What's out here? Locked door. And it's a backyard or something. Come on, Jennifer, run! Um, I don't quite remember. Oh, yeah, we were in the rear stairway. We, we still had stuff to do. We have to still go in the basement, and then we can, then we just have to go up to the attic. And I, yeah, that would be our, that would be us stop being, yeah, that's done. We just have to go up to the attic and do the basement, so, two extremes. Very bottom, very top. Now, come on, Jennifer. Cooperate. The cell of remorse. Nothing in here, I guess. Sal Bliss. I wonder where the names came from. Wait, I stopped lagging. The spooky things, the scary creatures that everyone talked about. They'll come and clean if you don't, sweeping bad children away like dust. Well, they actually came and attacked me. We owned them in the face. I knew what they really were, but that wasn't the problem. The real problem was my weak heart. My weakness is what was what drew them here. Cell of Pleasure. I think this is the one with the video camera in it. If I would go and get that film, we could probably watch some of the cutscenes from the games. I'm not. I'm just, just not gonna. We've already seen all the cutscenes. Well, except for one, but that's probably at the very end of this. Because I know that there's cutscenes after this. But I just wanted to explore everything because it gives closure, and it has given a lot of closure. We've gotten clues about her past and stuff, and what really happened and why things were this bad. Um, here's this chair. Dot to dot. One time Diana was absor absorbed in deep thought here. She was the prettiest, most mature of the aristocrats. She wanted so much to be an adult, and yet she was also afraid of growing up too fast. Basement. Again. And then we have one more room and then we have the attic. Ugh. Excuse me. I'm really happy that I'm finished I'm finishing this though, because then I can get on to other stuff. I'm trying to clear up the list. Nothing. I think it's kind of funny to be running around as little Jennifer after all this time, though. It, it, it's kind of strange, because we saw her little once, and then she owned everyone in the face. Yet, this one can't even wield a weapon. Of course, I don't see much need to wield a weapon. Wait, what was that? Was that the, uh, dining room? We've been in there. Okay. So, up to the attic, and then we just go out the front doors, and figure out what else we have to do.